Hi everyone, I am Devin Van Eyck, lead mixologist at Festival Farm to Bar Cafe in New York City. <laughs> Today we are going to be doing five cocktails with Cuscan Corva Vodka. First of all, we have the Village Martini. Second, I'm going to be doing the Village Smash. Third, we'll be doing the Dirty Lowdown, which is our take on a Dirty Martini. And then fourth, we're going to be doing our Drop the Beat, which is a fresh farm to bar beat cocktail. And last, but definitely not least, we're doing the Disco Lemonade, which is our signature summer drink. We can start with Village Martini. Okay, so this is a perfect summertime drink. If you like uh, vodka sodas, if you like Long Island iced teas, this is a sort of a lighter version of that with some farm fresh ingredients. So it's definitely leveled up. This is a uh, fresh squeezed lemon juice. And then we're going to do some house made demerara syrup, which is raw sugar syrup, just cooked down one to one with water. This is Cuscan Corva Vodka infused with Earl Grey tea. What you want to do is leave about two ounces of vodka overnight uh, with the tea and it will infuse, strain it out, and you're ready to go. It picks up all the bergamot and floral notes from the tea. So this is a farm fresh edible pansy. Cuscan Corva Village Martini. So what we're gonna do now is the Village Smash, also with Corsican Corva Vodka, but what this is is a variation on a whiskey smash. Normally, it would be whiskey with lemon juice, some sugar syrup, and egg white. We're gonna do vodka instead, which is gonna lighten it up. Okay, so we're gonna start with two ounces of Corsican Corva Vodka. And then, once again, an ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. House made demerara syrup. Now we're gonna do a few fresh mint leaves in there. And finally, we're going to do one egg white. Now, one thing we're gonna do a little bit differently here is what we like to call a dry shake, which means we're gonna shake it once more, but without the ice. What that does is really fluffs up the egg white and gives it that great mouthfeel that you're looking for. And you really want to get after it. That's the only way you're going to get the texture that you're looking for. Now we're going to fine strain because there are pieces of mint in the drink which you don't necessarily want. But you can see how fluffy that is. I always like to hit it with a couple dashes of bitters. These are our house blend of aromatic bitters, but you can use whatever you happen to have on hand. And there we go. Village Smash. Rich and creamy. So for our next one, this is definitely a level five cocktail. It's our farm to bar version of a dirty martini. I make tomato water and then I infuse that with umami which is the fifth flavor component that not a lot of people are familiar with. But if you like tomatoes, you like mushrooms, it's that flavor character. So this is a classic martini recipe. We're gonna go with two ounces of Cuscan Corva finished vodka. And then this right here is our house brine, which as I mentioned before, is a tomato water dashi with the addition of white soy to add to the salinity. I'm gonna do one ounce of that. And being a martini, it is stirred at least 20, 25 good stirs. So if you've got a friend who loves dirty martinis but also likes savory flavors, this might be for them. The difference is, is it has brine in it as opposed to vermouth. And so that makes it much more savory. Okay, for this one, we're going to start ounce and a half Cuscan Corva finished vodka. And then we're going to do three quarters of an ounce of golden falernum. And then this is actually crucial. It is Meyer lemon, not regular lemon. That brings a lot more aromatics and a little bit of extra sweetness, which highlights the freshness of the beet. Just a quarter ounce. And this is what you've all been waiting for. Farm fresh beet, one full ounce. Nice it up, give it a good shake. And then the garnish on this one, 
local red vein sorrel. Not only does it match it in color, but it has a slight lemony flavor that just sets it off. Drop the beat. All right, this was a cocktail that we had a lot of fun with over the summer and it was definitely our greatest hit. It's called the Disco Lemonade. We are going to start with one and three quarter ounces Cuscan Corva Vodka. This is our Rose Acai Grenadine. We're gonna do a full ounce. Then, full ounce freshly juiced lemon. And to that, you're gonna to wanna to add just about three ounces of fresh water. Now, as promised, the Disco. And it obviously makes any drink a party. So this is Edible Brew Glitter. It is available on the internet. And then I like to also top with some fresh dried rose petal. And this, the Disco Lemonade, is for everybody. So one of the things that's very important to us here at Festival being Farm to Bar is sustainability. And we honestly are always looking for partners who adhere to that ethos. And Kuskan Korva is produced sustainably in the western fields of Finland. Kuskan Korva vodka is made from nature's best ingredients. Good local barley, pure local spring water, and the continuous distillation process results in one of the smoothest, purest vodkas in the world. It is vodka made sustainably.